welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Welcome to the last week of the Peruvian month where we dedicate it to Peruvian recipes. And today we're going to finish with one of the most iconic recipes from Peruvian cuisine, which is ceviche. So ceviche for Peruvians has evolved a lot throughout the years with the influence of Japanese, um, immigrants and also because we evolved our taste as well for example ceviche in the old days was um, sitting in the lime juice for overnight and then by, by the next day you would have it really white and overcooked and now we actually like it more like almost sashimi really really raw freshly mixed and that's what we love so today I'm going to teach you all the tricks so that you get the result like I like it but of course if you at home want to mix it up or you've seen something in a restaurant that you like you can of course experiment. As always if you want to see the full recipe then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make the ceviche so if you want to see how it's done then keep on watching this video. So the first thing that we need to do is our leche de tigre or tiger's milk. Even though it says milk on the title, there's no milk involved. The reason why it's cloudy and a bit white is because we're going to use the trimmings from the fish. And so we want to take the lime juice out as close as possible to the moment where we're going to use it because as time passes, it goes a bit sour. And so here I have a bit of lime juice that I just uh, squeezed out and I have an ice cube in it just so that it keeps it cold and fresher for longer. And we're going to to do the same for the rest of the limes. This is going to go into the blender with some ginger, garlic, celery, also a bit of onion and chili. I'm using a Peruvian chili which is called rocoto but if you cannot get it don't worry use whatever chili you have at hand and this is going to be blended with the fish trimmings and also with the lime juice. We're going to blend it on pulse until we have something nice and cloudy but you don't want to make a puree out of it because you won't be able to then pass it through a sieve nicely. Whenever you're squeezing limes for ceviche, you don't want to squeeze all the way to the end because then you're getting the sourness from the pith and the skin and we want it to be really nice and clean in the flavor. So just squeeze as long as it lets you to get it easily. Now let's get on to the fish. So I have here some really fresh white fish and it's very important that it's fresh because we're almost going to eat it raw so you want it to be caught from the first day. And you also can use any white fish that you have as long as it's not very fibrous but rather the type that it melts in your mouth. So what we're going to do is I'm going to remove the thinnest parts that don't go really well in a ceviche because they overcook and we want to uh, cut the rest in cubes. These thin parts are going to go to our leche de tigre. So now that we've cut the fish, I'm going to season it with salt and pepper so that it can start dissolving while we do the leche de tigre. I'm also going to mix it with a bit of chili. This is completely up to you. If you don't like spicy food, then don't add any. And I also have here some uh, purple onion that I thinly sliced. And I've also had it soaking in salt and water. And I changed the water three times every 15 minutes roughly, just so that it becomes a bit milder and it's not like a punch of onion when you eat the ceviche. On the side we're going to make the leche de tigre, we're just going to add the lime juice minus the ice cube, blend it on pulse until we have a, a bit of chunks, small chunks in there, but definitely not, we don't want a puree. The leche de tigre usually also has coriander, it has or the leaves or the stalks just to get a bit of that flavor in here but as you know I don't like coriander so here's my imaginary coriander going into the blender. Something that most people don't tell you about leche de tigre is that at this point you need to taste it. So you need to see if it needs salt, also if it needs some sugar, if the limes are way too sour and you need to be able to drink it on its own and be like, oh my God, that is so good before you add it to the fish. 
Once you like how it tastes, then we can add it to the fish, mix it in and serve immediately. That was my Peruvian ceviche recipe, I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put a thumbs up to this video, it makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the vlog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, it's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Craving journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.